Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove Stangate from your Retina MacBook Pro. This works 100% on my Retina MacBook Pro 2015 13 inch and will probably work with any Retina MacBook Pro. So uh, what you're going to need is baby wipes, rubbing alcohol, and uh, your Stangate filled MacBook Pro. So. Uh, at first, I started out with uh, taking out baby wipes, just the baby wipes, and sometimes it will work just with the baby wipes, but uh, I added alcohol to speed up the process, but it still took two hours. So I don't really recommend you doing this until you absolutely need to, like if you do color correcting or video editing. Also, rubbing alcohol is very strong and it can give you headaches, so I strongly suggest you wear a mask while you're doing this. And now you can see a portion of the anti-glare stain gate is actually already coming off, which is very good. So I just rubbed in circular motions. And uh, yeah, you can see here we've got already some of the stain gate taken off. The anti-glare coating has been removed. And... Uh, yeah, at this point, I just kept on rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, starting from where I started, and I kept on just rubbing and then spreading it out. And then here are some pictures after around an hour of work. You can see around half of it has gone off. The edges and sides haven't been removed yet, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. And uh, yeah, I'm just continuing to rub. And now I've reduced it all to a small, tiny corner. And all I need to do is start rubbing. And I said rub in circular motions, but you could also rub back and forth. Circular motions are more useful, but for here when you're on the, like, on the last stretch, I would suggest just using back and forth rubbing motions. And then now we've removed it to a tiny little spot. And uh, almost there. And there you go. The Retina MacBook Pro is now perfectly beautiful, shiny, and um, overall just a lot nicer looking than it was before. Granted, you will have a little more glare, but it's not an extra lot and uh, doesn't really affect my use. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do be warned though, don't close your laptop with alcohol still on the screen. If you want to close your laptop, you need to wipe the entire thing clean of alcohol. Otherwise, it might seep into the keyboards and, uh, yeah, it's going to ruin your computer. So, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you helped you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.